The Commission of Inquiry into the Education System is in keeping with the government's belief that education in Ghana will require comprehensive and far-reaching reform if the system is going to prove capable of addressing the country's developmental needs. Yesterday, at the Diamond Secondary School, some of the frustrating realities of the system were discussed with the commissioners. Orlando Braffy, a teacher from the Covent Garden Secondary School, said the following. Well, you say, Sir, uh, you know, I want to be so, 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 but I am being pressured into achieving this with one and six, six by both teachers and parents. You know, I, my belief is that if that student was exposed to what he actually wants to do at an early age, he would have been doing something he loved or she loved doing. Another teacher, Wendy Norvell, from the new Diamond Grove Primary feels the IRI is a mathematical failure. I have been seeing a drop in mathematics since the IRI program has been implemented. I do believe that because I passed through the system and all the other teachers and you, sir, have passed through the system whereby we did mathematics in a traditional way, whereby our teachers taught, stood in front of the class, and they really taught an entire lesson. But the problem comes whereby our kids are not allowed to use their brains. Chairman of the commission, former chief education officer Ed Caesar said he was concerned and that he would ensure that many other consultations were held across the country which could help bring about a change in the education system. There are a number of areas that we as a nation must look at if we are going to bring about total development of our country. Many at the consultation told the commission that the upgrade of textbooks, better teaching strategies, and a review of the IRI mathematics program are just a few of the concerns raised. The Commission of Inquiry into the Education System will head to Region 5 and 6, Madia, Paramakotoy, and Keto. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV 2, Headline News.